Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a very special Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my biggest Ninjago regrettable purchase that I've made throughout my course of being a Ninjago fan. If you guys know me, you would know that I have been a Ninjago fan since the beginning. My very first set was the Zane Spinner set, the original one, and I have since purchased many, many Ninjago sets ever since that day. I'm looking at my shelf right now and it's kind of ridiculous how many Ninjago sets I own or have owned at one point in time but believe it or not there are a few sets in there that I regret purchasing and today we're gonna to be talking about one specific one that I just wish I just did not buy and that is the Samurai X cave this one of course came out with the day of the departed wave and it was set number 70596 and yeah this set really is not that great to me after I kind of built it and thought about it for a little bit and had it on display for a few months it just really didn't sit with me too well not quite sure what it is I wanted to buy it though because of course I am uh, pretty much attracted to the biggest sets of the wave I tend to go ahead and purchase those right off the bat it's what I did for legacy it's what I did for rebooted it's basically what I do for every Ninjago series but this one I kind of wish I did not buy. Now I just think it's because it's really underwhelming to me personally. I don't think that there's anything really about it that I care for too much. I mean the figures are kind of cool but the actual build itself really doesn't make for as great of a display model as I guess I was initially intending. I mean I, I, I display my Ninjago sets. I collect them, I build them, I display them. You know you can create little dioramas with them. It's fun. It's a fun thing to do for me but this set really didn't give me that much and I think that's just because the actual build and the construction of it really isn't that great. Especially in that same room where I keep all my Ninjago stuff. It definitely was outshined by things like the Temple of Air Jitsu, which came before it, and the Ninjago movie Destiny's Bounty, which is of course my favorite Ninjago set. It definitely got outshined by that as soon as I built that up and put that in the same room next to it, and it kind of just looked underwhelming. And for a $120 price point, yeah, I kind of wish I skipped this one, honestly. There are better $120 Ninjago sets out there, specifically from Rebooted, the whole Battle for Ninjago City set. That set is a great set that I remember buying from my childhood and absolutely loving, so that's something that I would recommend getting. Something like the Samurai X Cave probably just isn't really worth it, and I know this is an older set, and you're probably not going to buy it regardless, as the price has probably shot way up than what it should be. And to be honest, I mean, yeah, this set really was kind of underwhelming to me, and it's easily my biggest Ninjago regrettable purchase ever. It's probably one of my least favorite Ninjago sets, if we're being honest here. Definitely could have been better, and it's not a set that I enjoyed building, really, and it's not a set I really enjoyed displaying, and it's a set that I kind of wish I just didn't get. We all have our Ninjago regrettable purchases, so let me know down below in the comments what yours is. What's a Ninjago set that you got that you wish you probably just didn't buy? Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, and I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvelous Jan. Thank you so much for pledging the $10 tier. As such, you will receive a spoken shout out and a written shout out at the end of every video, plus additional early access content on the Patreon page from time to time. With all that being said, guys thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is Santa Fishies and with that I bid you farewell